Hello everybody, this is Stephen Whitfield, a drilling contractor here at the Canrid Robotics Facility in Stavanger, Norway. With me right now is Subodh Saxena, Senior VP at Neighbors Drilling Solutions, and we're going to talk a little bit about automation. Neighbors has been doing a lot with automation recently. It's been a big part of their plan moving forward, and we're going to see what they have to say about it. So Subodh, thank you so much for joining me today. No, thank you so very much for, for being here. Thank you very much. Well. Neighbors has been really big on automation recently. Of course, you have the automated land rig that uh, came out a little bit a while ago. It, Neighbors has talked about having different types of automation, the three different types of automation, and kind of how it all fits in with your operations, with everything. So can you tell us a little bit about those three different types of automation? Absolutely. So the reason we do automation is to get consistency and reliability in the outcomes. That is what we are trying to do. And the way we define or understand automation is that there is an element of machine automation, then there's an element of process automation, and then there's a third element of advisory automation. And we're trying to create this ecosystem of both digital technologies and automation technologies and robots to get all these three elements of automation. So when you look at the three different types, uh, I believe, what are they, process and uh, advisory automation, machine automation, how do they differ? So let's, let's take the first one, which is machine automation. So our intent is to take the machines and automate them so that we can get, again, consistency and reliability in how the machines move. And this is primarily we're talking about the surface equipment on, on a rig. So that's, that's the first step. The second piece is process automation. So constructing a well is a complex procedure. However, you can break it down into discrete steps and those steps can be automated, and hence it's called process automation. And the advisory automation is effectively all the data that is being acquired in real time or, or after the well has been drilled. How do you use that data to define a better sequence or a better recipe so that you can drive continuous improvement? So advisory automation is the, is the data piece which kind of ties everything all together from the, uh, from the concept of continuous improvement. So obviously we're here at the Canrig facility. Canrig is a part of the neighbors family, I guess. Um, so we can sort of ask about where they fit in with all this. How does Canrig Robotics kind of fit into this automation piece? So neighbors is a unique drilling contractor in the sense that we are fully vertically integrated. So we have rigs, we manufacture our rigs and all the important hardware, which is done through Canrig. And then we have Neighbors Drilling Solutions, which basically executes this automation concept that I spoke about. So Canrig is a very important and integral part of Neighbors, and the Canrig Robotic Facility is the facility which comes out with robots, which we have integrated both on the offshore rigs and in the land rigs for Neighbors. So, you know, on a higher level here with automation, you know, as we see more automated systems get incorporated onto the rig. You know, the question that you can ask is, where does the person fit in? Where does the human fit in with this type of system? And I know that Neighbors has said that there's a role for the person in an automated system. Where, what is that role? Where does it fit? So there's a misconception that automation means removing human beings. And that is not what automation in, in our mind is. Automation, as I said, and I'm going to repeat it, is consistency and repeatability of the outcomes in the drilling process. You would always need people, whether you need them in, in the development of the technologies, but also in the well construction phase. What happens is that the crew competency, the crew skills ha is, are going to evolve as we deploy more and more automation. So we, can, we will probably need more of maintenance engineers, more of control engineers, and other people to help make this machine work in the field. So the, the crew size may actually be bigger, but, but with a different skill set. And that's what the value of automation is to get that repeatability and consistency in the results. Well, Subo, thank you so much for taking the time to share with us a little bit about automation, Neighbors' view on automation and everything. As we move forward, it seems like that's going to be such a big part of, of drilling, and so it's great to hear some of what you guys are doing. So thank you again for talking with us. No, thank you so very much. And technology is the DNA of Neighbors, and we continue to, to thrive and prosper using technology and creating value for our customers. So thank you very much. And thank you for visiting Drilling Contractor. Thank you.